Welcome to another video by Real Sim Gear. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new installer for X-Plane 11 that allows you to install the Real Sim Gear software without the need for manual manipulation of various files. To get to the new installer, simply visit help.realsimgear.com and choose the setup guides from the initial page. From the next page, choose the X-Plane 11 New Installer Setup, which will take you to an article that outlines step-by-step -step using the new installer. It's recommended that you read through the entirety of this article before starting the setup, as it has some important information about older versions of the plugin and installing Reality XP if you happen to be using that. If you scroll down toward the middle, you'll find a black button that's labeled Real SimGear Installer. Simply click on that button and that will download an executable into your downloads folder called rsginstaller.exe. Once you double click on the rsginstaller.exe, that'll bring you to the welcome screen for the installer. This screen simply outlines some of the automated tasks that are now in place, replacing the manual process. Go ahead and click next. The license agreement, you'll need to accept that. If you don't, uh, the installer won't run, so go ahead and agree to the license agreement. And then you can choose one or more products to install. In this case, I'm going to just choose the GNS 430 and click Next. This step requires that you choose where your X-Plane installation is located. It's important that you get this correct because if you don't, the installer will error out. I've chosen my location for X-Plane and can go ahead and click Install. The first pop-up you're going to get is one for Reality XP software. If you choose to use Reality XP, you will have noticed while reading through the article mentioned earlier that you will have needed to install Reality XP software and load it into X-Plane and configured within the aircraft prior to running this installer. What this prompt is asking is whether or not you would like to allow the installer to go out and search for any aircraft that happens to have a Reality XP 430 configured, and if so, go ahead and set the option in that config file to remove the bezel. You can either choose yes to have it search, or you can choose no to have it skip. The next thing that's going to happen, if you happen to have an older version of a real SimGear plugin installed, it's going to find the existing command mapping.ini file. It's simply asking if you want to back that file up. If so, choose yes. If not, you can choose no. Finally, the installer is going to install the required Microsoft redistributable. Now don't worry, if you've already got this installed, it'll simply reinstall it with no issues. Once the installer is done installing the redistributable, it'll take you to the finish page. Here you can choose to check the Show Readme button if you'd like to see more information about the plugin and or the command mapping.ini options. And if you need additional help, you can always click on the link at the bottom, the Real SimGear help site, which will take you to help.realsimgear.com. At this point, you should be able to use the Real SimGear hardware within X-Plane. Thank you very much.